Hey, this is Kali. I am almost fully recovered from being sick and I am in my new apartment here. So I'm super excited because we're starting a new project today. I am starting my Heartthrob Caitlyn cosplay from League of Legends. It's a super cute skin. I'll add some art here. I made a entire like slideshow planning this which I will not share in this video, but will be on my website, so you can check it out there. So, starting off with this project, in a full circle for nothing, I have to break this down because there's a lot of different parts. Start off, uh, I think the two most challenging pieces to start with will be the skirt, hat, and the, the everything about this will be challenging, actually. So, I, the way that I'm going to start this is I'm going to make a full mock-up, like the pattern for everything in this cosplay. I know normally you guys see me kind of like brute force it and just kind of be like, okay, we're doing the top this week and like pattern then top and then pattern and skirt because my workflow this time is going to be making the entire pattern. Because I noticed a pattern with myself doing projects, I'm sure a lot of people also have this really, really cool thing where they start a project and they're just, well, I'm pretty sure this is everyone. Um, you start the project and you're like, this is great, I'm very motivated, I'm gonna take my time with everything. And then, like, you hit this point where you're just like, oh, actually I don't want to do anything. And for me, the craftsman part, Ugh. The craftsmanship part and sewing is 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 fine. Like it, <laughs> I I have no doubt that I can sew straight lines and neatly finish off my edges and stuff. But what I do think I tend to get messy with if I save for later in the process is the pattern making. And I want this to be perfect. I plan for this to be a craftsmanship piece. So this has to be really good. Okay, like well, like I'm not gonna slack anywhere on this. So yeah, I guess we should get started. Okay, before we get started, the last thing I wanted to talk about is I made custom fabric on Joanne's website. If you guys want a video on that, please tell me in the comments, like DM me on Instagram. I respond to every single DM as long as it isn't just like a, like, hey pretty, or I don't know, hey girl, you have a shampoo that'll make your hair fall out. This will be for the skirt and the blazer. It's a really nice twill. It's a really good skirt material and then this one I actually drew myself. Very impressive. I know lines. Very, very um, complicated art skill. <laughs> Anyways, so um, this will be for her thigh highs because I couldn't tell if they were sewn together or not. So here it is. As I kind of mentioned earlier, all the updates to this project as I work on it week by week will be put on my website. Um, my website is quite literally just misscollydoyle.com. I plan to document the living out of this project. I want a lot of detail. I want my every thought process on there because I want people to like, I want to show this to a judge and I want the judge to appreciate it. You know what I mean? So it looks like I'm going to base the pattern off of this pattern that I have lying around somewhere. So I'm not using this exactly, but it is going to be a base for everything else. I like to do that with a lot of things. So it is like my own pattern in the end, but to start I need a little, little, little something here. Look at that organization. Go through this. I love how spacious this new place is. Like, okay, so my old craft room setup didn't work as well, but like, look at, look. okay, I'm procrastinating. Okay, I cut all of the muslin pieces out like regular fabric. So now I'm going to do my least favorite part of any pattern process and uh, make the little marks that say what goes where. And then I will like do, sew them together on the widest stitch so I can really easily tear them apart and plop them on my dress form. Confession, I don't really understand how like blazers work. They're really confusing to me. 
So I'm really excited to kind of get nerdy with it and like actually figure out how they work so they're not as intimidating. So like if I just want to make a cosplay that has a blazer, like I want it to be like for me with skirts and dresses, I just feel like I could breathe skirts and dresses like they're so comfortable for me to work with. Like I just want that same feeling. So I run into my first little hiccup of sorts with this project and of course this is the hardest part that I'm starting off with draping. So this is the this is the good side. Um, I'll put reference photos up on screen but this is kind of where I am with it um, following the patterns instructions. This is the exact fit of what I want, right? I'll show you closer up. It goes out like this and it also has this part. But you know what I noticed is different is this is like sewn together at the base, which I thought was really interesting. And this, but like cropped is what I want, right? So I'm gonna still use the same sleeve pattern, but I'm just gonna kind of draft, switch over from like, this is why we do this process. So now I'm gonna start editing this to work more like this. And this is why I did everything on that super wide stitch because I'm basically gonna rip it all apart and then um, do it in a way that I think would be more aesthetically pleasing. Okay, so blazers really, really confuse me. I have to go to the gym right now, but after I get back from the gym, I think while I cook dinner or something, I'm going to watch like a breakdown of blazer structure. I got my dark chocolate. This is seriously so confusing and stressful. Now that I've watched this very helpful video, it actually was genuinely very helpful. And it's about eight o'clock and I started this process of watching random YouTube videos on blazers at like six. So I did, I did have dinner in between, but like I made a really quick pasta dish, so. So I'm gonna start with taking this apart. I'm going to go straight into drafting because I I know what I need and it's gonna to be too hard to drape. I just need to like get it onto the pattern. Like I know the sleeves will fit okay and stuff. I'm just gonna do a quick try on. So next up I'll just be going straight to paper. I used this pattern for like two seconds before I decided it wasn't helpful. A little fit test. It fits perfect. Since I added the sleeves last time to this, I will now be adding, I'm now going to rip it apart and pattern it out or draft it um, because it makes more sense that I would draft the rest of these pieces. So I made a mistake. I forgot that her sleeve has two different fabrics in it and that I actually need to make two different pattern pieces for the sleeve. Maybe even three? <laughs> okay, so this is how it goes. There's a silver edge here, silver edge there, and those two make up the bottom of the sleeve. Okay, I finished making these sleeves for the blazer for Caitlin. Um, I actually didn't finish making the sleeves. I just finished the first version of the sleeve pattern. All right, next up, I'm gonna work on the back piece to the blazer. It has kind of like a heart shape to it, um, but not quite a heart. So I'm gonna pull up some reference art on my computer to have open while I work on it. My Wi-Fi is not working too well right now, so I'm actually going with my phone to show you guys kind of the design. Yeah, on the back has this kind of design. So I'm gonna sketch that out. I have to think it out for a minute. 
So I've decided after all that work, I'm just going to use bias tape for the sleeve too. Because I was looking around and it looks most of the time like the purple matches. And I think as long as I do a really clean job with the bias tape, it'll still look good. Tape these two over the seam allowance. Okay, so there's Cleo, but I cut all the pieces for the mock-up. I use this really old, red, cheap, awful lining that I hate for um, the like things that'll have to be other colors. Alright, so last night I worked on the sleeves. The red part of these sleeves would be the plaid fabric that Caitlin has on hers and then this bottom would be the shimmery fabric or vice versa, I don't know, I have to look. So I'm gonna, I don't like how baggy they are, they just seem very, very large. I don't, I think I'm probably gonna take them in quite a bit, actually, maybe they aren't that bad, but anyways, I'm gonna keep sewing this mock up. I'm gonna work on the a top outside layer and then I'm gonna work on the lining layer because technically it's just really hard for me to understand. Um, that's why I've watched YouTube videos on it like 50 times over at this point. Has been going super well. I have to sew the other side on and then this will be the back of the outside layer of the jacket kind of thing. I, I don't know what I was thinking and I was looking at other other cosplays of it as everyone used vinyl but you know I plan to use this for a craftsmanship contest and therefore I am not going to be touching a Cricut machine as much as I would love to just put this through the Cricut and slap it on and iron it on um, it's it's a craftsmanship piece and you know I have to all be like Oh, you know, I did this completely with sewing. No, no vinyl whatsoever. It's all sewing. I'm so skilled. Look at this. Pick me. Choose me. So, um, so that's, that's gonna be what we're doing. Also, I think how I'll be doing this is I'll actually be cutting both of these pieces on the fold. It's just because it's the rough mocked up. I didn't know what I wanted. But this actually looks pretty good for the back. Line the sleeves and all the tutorials I've seen, people line the sleeves. So I'm gonna guess and I'm going to line this as I normally would, which is the center. I still haven't sewn up the other side. Um, and then I'm going to sew on the sleeves last. Actually, that wouldn't work. Still want the main body of it lined because you're, you're gonna see that, right? Like when it flaps open or whatever. But you're not gonna see the inside of the sleeves because they're never gonna be rolled up or anything. All right, I'm gonna play with this. Okay, I pretty messily sewed the lining and the outside layer together and I left this little slit in the back to fold them inside out. It's not gonna be perfect because I haven't cut up the inside and stuff. Actually, let's, let's cut up the inside. I know this is still pretty messy because I didn't like really pin anything and I just kind of want to make sure it fits and it's going to be the way I want it and I know things a little bit off. Here's my plan for the sleeves did not work so I'm going to figure it out a little further. Okay, I'm hating it right now but I gotta trust the process. So here's where I currently am. The front of the blazer is perfect. This is exactly how I want it. So I'm really happy with that. I do need to fix the top collar length though because it's sitting all the way back here up here it's a little bit better but I need it to be over here um hi Klaus hello Ugh. I learned recently that Klaus will freak out if I don't walk around while holding him so he likes <laughs> he 
He likes to walk around while I hold him. See, and if I hold him still. <laughs> He's like, he just likes to be walked around. Anyways, um, but the back does look really good. Besides that, it's like that pointy heart kind of thing. The sleeve, the string from my Hilda cosplay that I bought like so many yards of. And it's my cat's favorite toy in the world. As sad as it makes me, the time has come though where I do need to post this or edit it and then post it. So I'm hoping progress will now go a lot faster now the biggest challenge of this entire project is done for me. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really had wanted to do more in this video. I hope you guys are as excited about this project as I am and I am just, I am so excited for everything about it. Um, from the custom made fabric, to the patterning, to the sewing of it. Like it is just so big when it comes to like, so many new skills too. I am, I'm just so happy. And I'm probably also in the next video gonna work on that skirt pattern and the hat pattern. So the next video or two, maybe, I'm hoping to keep it to just next one video, will be making patterns for everything. Well, the next um, video or two after that will be sewing it all. Sewing it all should move a lot faster than the patterning of everything, just because um, drafting and draping and such are the more technical parts of sewing. Well, sewing is the sewing part is just more of the craftsmanship, making sure it's clean and neat, your lines are straight, your techniques are right, the hand sewing stuff. I think it's a lot more fun to watch personally, but I still hope you had fun hanging out with me and got to chill and enjoy this vlog. So I will see you guys next week. Thank you very much for watching.